everyone welcome to divya ganita in this video i am going to give you some tips and strategies to solve ct problems and any type of mcq problems there are two methods to solve any type of mcq problems that is first one is rejection of options and the second one is solving the whole problem or else you can say that selecting the correct one most of the cases rejection of options works the best and also while solving also you can reject some options and get to the answer in some problems it may not be possible to reject the options in that case you have to solve the problems in that situation also i will tell you how to solve the problems in very simple way as in uh, as you know in cet there will be no marks for steps and also you need not write everything they just want you to tick the correct answer to solve such problems i will give you some uh, methods through which you can get the answers very easily and very quickly also to uh, know all these things please do watch this video till the end now let's see the first method first method is rejection of options in that you will have two types that is first one is rejecting the options directly that means when you see the problem you uh, by the no, some known result you can directly reject one or two options it may not be possible to reject like that in all the cases for that we will solve the problem and while solving if we try to reject the option these are the two types through which you can solve the problem very easily now i will uh, tell you how to reject the options directly for that i will take an one example and explain it here is an example in this problem they have given a binary operation star defined by a star b is equal to a by b plus 1 by seeing this we can directly conclude that this is not commutative because b star a will be b by a plus 1 and clearly it is not equal to a by b plus 1 so in the option a and d we have star is commutative so we can directly remove these two options now uh, to check which is the correct one we have to check for associativity in the, uh, now uh, i will not solve for associativity you can do it for yourself and we will get that it is neither uh, it is not associative also which means the correct option is star is neither associative nor commutative now we will move on to the next method in rejection of options only we have another type that is in that pro in those type of problems we cannot reject the options directly but by solving we can reject the options by solving also we have to solve for only those steps by which we can reject the options now i will take an example and explain how this method works here is another example let's look at the question they have given if 3a plus 4b dash is equal to this matrix and 2b minus 3a dash is equal to this matrix then we have to find b observe here in this problem we cannot reject any of the options directly by looking at it so we have to go for solve by rejecting the options that means we have to solve the steps whichever is needed we should not solve all the problem we just solve whatever is needed for the question now in this equation we have 3a plus 4b dash b dash is nothing but b transpose in this we have b directly so we have to convert b transpose to b that means we have to take transpose of this for that taking transpose means we know that a plus b whole transpose is nothing but a transpose plus b transpose so this will be 3a dash uh, 3a transpose plus 4b that is nothing but transpose of this matrix this is a matrix 3a dash plus 4b observe here here we have 3a dash and here we have minus 3a dash if we add these two equations we can directly cancel my 3a dash then we are left out with 6b is equal to if we add these two matrix we will get 6b i will suggest you not to add all the entries for that you have to look at the options to see which entry you have to solve we have to choose a position such that in that position in almost all options the numbers are different for example if i choose this position then 
here we have minus 1 in this position but in all other options we have 1 so this cannot be a good option if I choose for this uh, position then also only in this option we have 4 here in all other options we have minus 1 instead of that if we choose this position here we have minus 18 in option B we have 3 here we have 3 and here minus 3 in only two options the numbers are same other than that the, uh, in other two options we have different numbers so this can be a good option now we will find the, which number will come in this position that means we have to the, add the numbers only from in this position that means 0 plus 18 is nothing but 18 6 in 6p we have 18 means in b we will have 3 in uh, two options we have 3 in that position that means we can directly reject these two options now look at these two options in these two options the number differ only in this position that is here we have 4 and here we have minus 4 so for uh, solve now only for this position that means you, you have to add 31 minus 7 that is nothing but 24 24 means 6b in 6b we have 24 means in b we will have 4 so this is the correct option this is how the method works that means we have to solve whichever is needed need not solve everything just by solving only two numbers i got to know which is the correct answer i have not solved for any of these other entries now we will move on to the next method now there will be some situations in which you cannot reject the options also or you can go through the option also go through the option means solving for whichever step needed you cannot do that also then what you have to do the next method is solving the whole problem but by solving also don't write all the steps just write whatever is needed to explain uh, this method i will take an example here is an example look at this problem they have given a cross b whole square plus a dot b whole square is equal to 144 and magnitude of a is equal to 4 then we have to find the magnitude of b in this problem we cannot reject any of the options directly and also we cannot go through the options also that means we cannot find which step we have to solve by looking at the options the another method which is left out is solving the whole problem now let's solve this problem we know that a cross b is nothing but magnitude of a into magnitude of b sin theta right but here we have square that means it will be magnitude of a square magnitude of b square sin square theta what about a dot b a dot b is nothing but magnitude of a into magnitude of b cos theta instead of writing everything i will take these terms common isn't this common here also we will have the same terms what is the left out term it is cos square theta it is given that it is equal to 144 and also we know that sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 so directly we can cancel this and write 1 here after that we can take square root all terms are in terms of square by taking square root square root of 144 is nothing but 12 and also they have given magnitude of a is 4 so this will be 4 directly we can cancel that is 4 3 is so directly we got magnitude of b is equal to 3 this is the option c is the correct look here we have solved this problem in only one step we used many steps but we wrote everything in single line this was all about tips and strategies to solve the CET or any type of MCQ problems. If you find this video useful, then please do like and share with your friends. And also, for more such videos, please do subscribe to my channel. Thank you.